Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're gonna be talking about some of the oxygen not included basics. Today we're gonna be talking about metal ores and their refined counterparts. To get it started, a lot of the times you guys are gonna find metals inside the biomes. And depending on which biome you guys run into, you guys will run into a different metal ore. Now the biomes are not guaranteed to give you a specific metal ore or a refined metal that does appear in the wild very rarely and never really on the starter asteroids but on the more advanced later ones these metal ores you guys will find you guys will mine dig whatever it is and find the metal ores to be useful for a lot of electronics buildings and other tile now the metal ore is going to be used in a lot of recipes but one of the things i need to point out is that there is a refined version of the same material if you guys were looking to build an airflow tile, you guys will see that you guys use the ore variants of the metals. And if you guys were looking to build something that uses a refined metal, you might be stumped to know why that the game does not allow you to use copper after you just mine some. And that's because there is a refined version, which means you need to do something to that metal ore before you can actually build whatever it is you need to build. And to get it started, we're going to be talking about the Rock Crusher. The Rock Crusher right here is going to be the building that refines metals, and it's the first tier building that can refine metals. This building only uses 240 watts and is an early game building. Not only does it refine metal, it also crushes other things that make sand or lime. Over here on the recipe, you can see that copper ore at 100 kilograms becomes refined copper, but at a rate of only 50 kilograms of that, with the other half being sand. This means that the building the Rock Crusher, although it can refine metal for you, it comes at a cost. You lose half of the mass of your metal ore, and that becomes sand. That's not a good thing, as you lose a lot of the metal, 50%. And because the metal ores are very finite until you get to rocketry and are able to harvest it from the point of interest, once you run out on your asteroid and you can't go to the other ones, you are going to be out of luck. And because of such, this comes with a disclaimer to not use the Rock Crusher as a primary source of refining metals, as it is very inefficient and you have better options. The Rock Crusher actually does a couple other things, but because it could refine metal, I need to put the disclaimer out there to watch out, because this will burn through your metal ores fast, and I would only recommend using this if it's a desperation move, where you need to have the refined metal for a specific build, Otherwise, I would wait until the next tier. The next tier building is going to be the metal refinery. Over here, by looking at the copper, you could see that we refine the 100 kilograms into 100 kilograms of the metal. This is a one to one ratio, and that's what you're looking for, as you don't generate any additional resource, and this is what you're looking for the one to one. So you don't lose any of the metal ore in the process. However, this building costs 1200 watts of power. Not only that, also requires the duplicate operation, same as the rock crusher. However, you also need to have a liquid medium. You need to be able to pump in a liquid that it's going to use to become the medium to melt the ore and refine it. In my case, I'm going to be using crude oil. And if you guys didn't know, you guys could hover over the heat to tell you how much heat you're going to be applying on your liquid medium. This is going to be a good indicator as this is going to let you know whether or not you may boil the liquid if it's too hot. And if it does boil, it's going to break your pipes. So a lot of the times I would say to watch out for that, hover over the tooltip to see how much heat you're going to be applying. The game will automatically adjust the element that you can see mine says crude oil to whatever element you're going to be using in your metal refinery. But of course, this does mean that you're going to have to do something with the hot output as something like steel is going to drastically superheat the liquid, meaning that you're going to have to deal with the heat after it comes out of the refinery. Now, very quickly, if you guys didn't know, you could see that iron to iron ore, the refined iron right here, actually has an overheat temperature of over 50 degrees. That used to be in the vanilla game a property unique to gold and the refined metal version of that, of the gold amalgam, of course. Now, actually, they made it so that it's on gold, iron, and also copper now. So you guys don't have to specifically hunt out gold amalgam if you guys want to have some of the buildings with a higher overheat temperature. Now, of course, that does not mean the ore versions have been changed, as the only gold amalgam has that property still. 
going over the pumps over here you can see that there is no overheat increase on the copper iron and it's only for the gold amalgam but otherwise the refined variants of these three do increase the overheat temperature by 50 and if you guys didn't know steel increases it by 200 not only that the refined metals actually have different values to the stats of specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity and to give you an example we're going to be looking at iron ore which has a specific heat capacity of 0.449 and a conductivity of 4.0 if we looked at the refined version of that it's going to jump up on the thermal conductivity only from 4 to 55 that's a huge jump and depending on what you're using it for you guys might want to look between the different metals for the stats just know that the ore and refined version have different stats now that being said those are the metal ores and refined metal how to do it but one last thing we want to talk about is going to be steel you guys might be wondering how come you have a steel recipe and i don't have that on my red ore refinery that's going to be because steel has to be unlocked in order to unlock steel you could see that you have to have the ingredients on this list that means you need to have refined iron refined carbon which is what you make from the kiln by clicking on the kiln you can make something called refined carbon as long as you have coal as such you're going to want to stockpile coal because steel is going to be something you're going to need in the late game of course steel is also a great metal due to its uses but we'll get to that later the other thing you're going to need is something called lime lime is actually made at the rock crusher so you still need this building and how to make lime is going to be from either fossil that you find around the map, eggshells from any of the critters you're ranching, and if you guys have, there is also pokey shell molt, which the pokey shells right here in the salt biome are going to shed its skin, and that actually becomes lime as well. So you guys have a lot of options to farm the lime, ranching critters, ranching pokey shells will give you a little bit more lime compared to a lot of the other counterparts. And of course, if you guys happen to find fossil, that could be easily crushed to make lime. Once you have the ingredients, the recipe will pop out and you're going to be able to make steel. And why steel is great is because not only does it act as a refined metal, as you can see here, we could use it for something that requires refined metal. It actually also acts as a raw metal ore as well, as we could use steel in anything that requires metal ore. This is great as the metal ores are going to be finite and until you get the rocket tree to be able to fly to the points of interest and mine out the resources on the points of interest or go to another planet and strip mine the resources on those planets, you're going to have a finite amount of the metal ores. And this is true for all metal ores. Because of that, you're going to be reluctant to refine all of your metal ores into refined metals. Now, you might be wondering, how would you get refined metal then? Actually, instead of refining the metal you actually also have a couple other options what we have is metal volcanoes what we have here is a copper volcano and a iron volcano both of these volcanoes will erupt and periodically give you a lot of the refined metals on each eruption as long as you could tame and handle the geysers you're gonna have a seemingly infinite as long as you don't overuse as much as it could produce of refined metals because as long as you don't overuse it your volcano is going to just provide you metal anytime it's active. So because of that, you may be weary to over smelt the metal if you find a geyser that gives you the refined version of that. That way you could save the metal ores for a lot of the other builds. Things like regular wire, you guys don't want to sacrifice steel for that. But of course guys, that has been a quick overview of the Oni basics over metal ores, refined metals, and how to unlock steel. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.